What's up guys? Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming here and we are back with more Spyro the Dragon. This is Level Blowhard from the Magic Crafters world. It happens to be the 10th level in our playlist. We're going to scoop up 400 gems, which is not only going to get us that 100% for the level, but also a trophy achievement called Gatherer. We're going to find that one lonely dragon. And of course, we're going to get that skill point, which this is one of the easier levels for skill points and trophy achievements, let me tell you. Quick reminder, we do have some quick links down below in the video description. But meanwhile, we're going to actually make our way from the starting point of Magic Crafter's world all the way up and over to the blowhard level entrance. Now we're just going to go ahead and pretty much uh, knock some blocks off and make our way all the way up to the top, which we're going to have to use this supercharge ramp to make our way down and around here. <laughs> All right, here we go, and we're gonna cut a hard right, and up to the lower area we go. Up to the lower, that almost made sense, huh? All right, in we go. All right, so as soon as we land, we're basically gonna take right off and start smashing for them jams. We got some treasure chests as well as some baddies too. And there they are. So off to the far right side, make sure you grab those, because the last thing you wanna do is miss these and have to come all the way back to the very beginning of the level. I'm not saying it happened to us, but it, it might happen to somebody out there. All right, we got a couple of blow chests, or flame chests as we call them, and booyah kashaw, we've got some fireworks too. It's a nice day for some fireworks. Now, is it me, or, I mean, I know I mentioned this before, but it rem this, these guys remind me very much uh, of the or what is it, Oric? Was it or Oric? Or I'm probably saying it wrong, from He-Man. You might have to be old like me to remember that, but I mean, I feel like you change the color of their outfits and it's basically the character stole right from He-Man. Maybe I'm not correct though. Hey, here's our boss here. This guy pukes out tons and tons of gems. Do your best to avoid any of his attacks. And after the first one, he's gonna go into this cave here. Now check this out. The skill point is just simply for landing on this platform and not moving. Just stay here for 10 seconds. That's it. And just when you think it's not going to work, wait for it, wait for it. Reese was like, maybe it has to be moving. And right as he jumped, it rang off. And speaking of Reese, shout out to Reese for doing all of the gameplay here. And oh, we got our first and only dragon. Thanks for releasing me, Spyro. You have no idea how long I've been trapped in crystal. And uh, neither do I. Who are you again? Um, I'm out of here. <laughs> that, that was an awkward exchange, was it not? First of all, we do know how long you've been wrapped up. It's only been a few dragon days. And secondly, like, we're on our way. How could you not remember Spyro, bro? Like, do you even Skylander? Like, come on, man. All right, as we trudge our way across a few more of these platforms, it's likely that if you didn't even know what the skill point was, you'd probably get it just from making your way across. And speaking of across, once we get out here, we're going to actually take a left and then go to the right, as the right is the forward progression. A couple of smash chests. We'll go ahead and plow through all of those. Hey, big shout out to one of our viewers actually informed me of something I already knew. Basically, the hell system. I had kind of forgotten about the old dragonfly and then, of course, flaming the sheep and getting the little, I guess they're bugs, butterflies, whatever it is that the dragonfly eats. So uh, I, I need to get better about figuring that out so I know my health. But basically, the dragonfly represents your health, which is pretty cool. So big shout out to the viewer who helped me with that. And I apologize for not remembering your name. I'll try to remember for next video. All right, the final blow of our guy here, <laughs> the blowhard, will go ahead and knock him down. And look at that. At the very top of the hill, we find one last chest, which got a nice two-piece in it. We'll swoop it up. Gatherer Trophy Achievement is officially ours. 100% level completion. And we are going to prove it to you real quick. There you can see. Blowhard. 100%. 400. 400. Owl Tower. And guess what? Check mark for Blowhard. So we're officially done with the first skill point page, which means we're going to have to toggle over in future viewings. But go ahead and hop into the return home. Uh, look at that. Well, how many? Oh, 3,100. So we're basically just over the one quarter mark. However, it feels like we should be further. Some of these levels are going to have a lot of gems. I can already feel it, but 
Blowhard, 100% done. That's going to wrap it up for Spyro Reignited. Level 10 in our playlist, Blowhard. And we got all collectibles and all that stuff, including the skill point and trophy achievement. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button. It won't be long, as we will be back soon with more Spyro. As always, until next time, see ya!